Hi, welcome to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. I'm Anita. Today I'm going to talk about how the Christmas holiday craft shows went for me in 2022 um, and how they compare to niche shows such as knitting shows and the first knitting show of 2023 just happened this past weekend so I have uh, numbers for that one as well so I'm going to share those with you right now. Oh, uh, November 4th and 5th was a small town general craft show here where I live which is Wainwright Alberta and it was November 4th and 5th it brought in about $316 and then I had online sales on Etsy that weekend as well but um, it was okay it was uh, not bad for a general craft show however I had one $48 zipper pouch walk off from my table so I did have um, theft at that show uh, which was very unfortunate I believe that is the first time I've ever had a bag or anything stolen from my booth so uh, we could take $48 off the $316 total I guess um, I believe I paid $50 for the table so it wasn't a bad weekend then the Sunday of that weekend, November 6th, I did the Camrose Vendor Splendor, um, which is a slightly larger town and it's closer to the city, but that show really bombed. I think I made like 100 or maybe $120 at that show and I sold two zipper pouches and one Christmas stocking. So it was not good. It didn't even make it worth the trip. For the fuel because the fuel prices were high so i will not be doing the cameras show ever again <laughs> i did the spring show and actually the spring show did better than the christmas show and i had said in previous videos i'll try to tag that one up here um that i was going to wait and see how the christmas show went because i figured it would do better than the spring show but it actually did worse so unfortunately, I won't be going back to that show. I also had to donate a door prize at that show in addition to this $60 booth fee. So unfortunately, that was a money loser for me. Um, then the next show was in Edmonton, which is a large city here in Alberta. And um, it was November 12th and 13th. It was the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. And that was a knitting show, a niche show not a general craft show. So it was targeted to a specific audience and I made about $700 in the two days at that show. It was held at the Northlands Expo Center. So it was a little bit more expensive for customers to come in. I think the tickets were $18 plus they had to pay for parking. Um, I think my table was, I can't remember for sure, but I think it was $250. And we drove in and we stayed at my mom and dad's. So we weren't paying for hotel. Um, and then we drove out after the show was finished instead of driving back and forth. So uh, it wasn't bad. I was pretty happy with that show. Um, it did uh, the best out of all the shows in November. Um, the next show I did was December 10th in a little village that's like 20 minutes out of Wainwright called Irma and it was their christmas market and i think i paid 50 dollars for that table and i only made like 106 dollars it was not good <laughs> so unfortunately i won't be doing irma again either i know it was a fundraiser for the school though so that was great i didn't mind supporting that but um yeah i didn't make any money there and then i also needed to donate a prize at that show as well so that didn't go so great for me um this past weekend january 21st i went down to airdrie which is just about half an hour out of calgary it was a four and a half hour highway drive we got up at 3 30 in the morning left wainwright at four in the morning and got to uh this the place where the show was being held in airdrie at 8 30 so i had an hour and a half to set up my table and I paid $125 for that table and I made $316 at that show 
and I also donated a door prize that was worth about $34. So it was an okay show, but I don't feel like I made enough money for the effort that it took to get there from where I live. I might try the June show. There is a June show coming up. I'm hoping to apply for that and um, we'll see how it goes. So far though, nothing has topped my best show ever, which was last September, uh, the Prairie Fiber Frolic or Prairie Fiber Festival in Lacombe. That was my best show ever. So I'm, I've applied for that one again for this coming September in 2023, and I'm really hoping to get in. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I did have a lot of fun at the Creekside show and I enjoyed chatting with my fellow vendors and I did have about 12 or 13 paying customers. It was just, they were buying little $10 things. So it didn't add up to a large amount, but um, I was able to trade a yoga bag for three skeins of Merino wool. So that was fun. And yeah, sometimes if you're not making sales, you can just start doing trades with your other vendors and you still have a good time. So um, in conclusion, I really think the way for me to go forward is to focus on niche groups and so for specific people that are coming to a show that is like catered to them. And knitters especially really appreciate handmade and understand uh, why something would be priced the way it is. They understand the work and the expense that goes into making the item. So I definitely will be signing up for more knitting shows and I'm going to back off from the general craft shows. So there you go. Let me know in the comments what your experience was or what your thoughts are on this. And uh, we can all share our knowledge. Have a good day. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.